This is a very powerful dua that breaks a lot of stereotypes about what Islam is. Today, a lot of Muslims think that having a good education or career or being wealthy is not being Islamic. But this misconception ends with this dua. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Akram Jagirdar. I make videos on Islamic motivation, share some direct messages and personal experiences. If you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I was a person that was extremely focused on my career. And a lot of people have made me feel guilty about it. They made me think that I am not religious because I care too much about this dunya. But this dua taught me something extremely unique. Sulaiman salam in this dua is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for three things. The first is, Qala Rabbi Firli, O Allah forgive me, Wahabli Mulkan, and give me a kingdom. La yambaghi liyahadim min ba'di A kingdom such as that will not belong to anyone after me. So he's asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make him special with this gift. And the last part of the dua is Inna ka anta al-wahhab Indeed, you are the one that gives. The first thought that came to my mind when I heard this dua was why would a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask of something for this world when he could have asked for anything for the akhirah, for the year after? But when I started to understand the logic behind this, it, it, is, it explains us so much and it explains us the concept about how our deen and dunya are connected. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this dua in the Quran to teach us how we should utilize our gifts and our blessings to not just make our dunya but also our akhirah. Sulaiman alayhi salam was gifted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the quality of being a great king. It is also a quality of his father Dawood alayhi salam who was also a prophet of Islam and a very just king. Sulaiman inherited the skill of leading and administrating a kingdom. And he wanted to utilize his skill set exponentially to make a source of reward in his akhara. Sulaiman was gifted with so much in this world that it is hard to even comprehend. He was blessed with a kingdom that nobody ever had or can ever have. He was gifted with the speech that he could communicate with birds and animals. He was given the ability by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to control the winds and the jinns. So he could uh, put them in prison, make them work in his army, etc. He had a huge kingdom and a massive army. And to top it all up, he was a great worshipper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This was his stellar quality. There are two things to take away from this dua and the story of Sulaiman alayhi salam. The first is when you are blessed with the bounties by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The thing with us today is that the more we achieve and gain in this world, the further away we move from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Having all these worldly possessions somehow diverts us from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second is, that's the topic of today, is how to utilize your skill set or the quality that has been gifted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to you to make your deen as well as your akhirah. 
as Muslims, we need to identify what we are good at. Islam doesn't prohibit you from being and exploring this world. It doesn't restrict you from following your passion. If you're good at something and you identify that you have a skill set, let's say you're good in technology or you're good in medicine or you're good at engineering, identify ways in you can give back to the ummah and also gain in this world. But if the sole purpose of your career is to make money, then your growth is limited to this world. And your achievements are only the worldly possessions. But if you just broaden your understanding, then the time that you're spending at work will actually build up your akhara. So let's say you're good at technology and the only thing that you're doing is making uh, dating websites and online games and apps uh, that is just making people procrastinate even more, then you have to understand that how much good are you giving the society? How much does it benefit the society or the Ummah? And let's say if you're a doctor and you lose that empathy of helping people, then no, no offense to the good doctors out there, but then you're more focused on billing the patient rather than helping the patient. So you have to understand that your skills are important and the near of doing and utilizing those skills is even more important to build up your Akhara. So you have to make the correct choices. The thing that we learn from Sulaiman salam's dua is that he understood what his skill set is. He saw the opportunity and asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for exponentially giving him the blessing to make his Akhar. And we can do the same. Now when you're deciding a career or shifting careers, identify what you're good at, what your skill set is and what you're passionate about. Choose something that will connect our passion and our work with the bigger purpose of life, that is our Akhara. If this video is of any value to you, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and to support me on this journey of Think Muslim, subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the rate Think Muslim. I'll see you in the next one, inshallah. Jazakallahu khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.